We have come so far on the technology that now we have from Paradise. Paradise is one of the biggest manufacturers of solar lighting. That's all they do, by the way, is solar lighting uh, in, in the world. This is their post lamp with a planter priced at $129.96. This takes your back deck, a patio setting, turns it into almost like a, a, a British street. You know, Dan, you're absolutely correct, but it is a design that even if you have a modern home, it's going to go with it. It's a classic, clean, kind yeah. of crisp design. But again, look inside here. See this bulb? We call it an Edison bulb because the turn of the century bulbs, this is what they look like. So this says not solar. I, I agree. With solar lampposts, you don't have a bulb like that in it. Look at the brightness. Also, look at the warm glow of the gold here. What we've done is I, I've covered the top here, so it's on with the lights up. But even with as bright as it is, you can see how much light this is throwing out. This is the guy who will cover your entire deck with light, and you'll just love it. Comes it, on automatically. It's not. It's not through. like the solar we remember. No. I, I grew up in Indianapolis, and it was a big deal to have a gas lantern yes. out in the front yard a by the driveway. Of, that's correct, I do know that. I grew up with it, I remember it. When I moved out here to the East Coast, they didn't have that. But my one of my favorite cities in the world is Boston. And to see some of the old gas lamps that they had. Look at how bright this is. And our studio yeah. lights, they're not completely dim. This is the new evolution of what solar can be, but not every manufacturer can offer it. This is paradise. Paradise has been with us as long as any other solar manufacturer. This is cast aluminum. Cast aluminum, real glass. There's a uh -huh. planter on the bottom I'll show you in a moment. I just want to, again, if you can look at this filament in here, it's really some technology. You say, are those three LED bulbs in there? No, there's actually thousands of little LEDs on each of those strands. Let me spin that yeah. for you. Take a look at how beautiful that is. I, I had never seen this until you brought it to you brought Jeff brought it to us last year, late this summer. Yeah. I, I think I had one opportunity to present it, and that was it. And now we've got it, we've got it, we've got it at a very attractive price. You need it now. Yeah, it, but it's so bright that it has a dimming switch on it. So you have high and low. I turned it to low. Look by our house back here. If you take a look right here by the QVC house yeah. by the front door. That looks like that was wired Doesn't in. Doesn't this look like a wired <laughs> fixture here? In fact, look, there's an Edison bulb right here in, the, uh, uh, in yeah. the fixture on the house. But you can see the brightness, you can see the shadow it's casting on the house. I'm telling you, on your deck, it's the best thing because on your deck you normally have sliding glass doors, right? Right. Or you have French doors. When this goes on at night, it shines into the house. So if you're walking around late at night or coming in, you have light from outside lighting up your living room, den, family room, whatever it happens and, to be. And it comes on automatically. Yes, sir. Uh, listen, I, I know you. That you yours, do. yours is on the deck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to me, next to the barbecue grill. I, bar you know, you I barbecue that. all year round. You burn year round, that's I, awesome. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do a wicked Cajun anything. <laughs> Very good, blackened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this time of year, it's still dark by, by six o'clock. Sure. So most people are getting home at about that time. You now have beautiful lighting for outdoors. And because it's built so well, it becomes a, a permanent look, a permanent fixture for the back patio. Absolutely correct. Or down by the end of your driveway. Let's, you know, you have a pond like I do. Yep. You have no electricity there. No. Great use down at the pond. You saw the yard arm in the video there. You can hang, maybe you want to put your house numbers hanging off that. Or, oh, that's a nice or, touch. Plant, or plants or whatever. The bottom has a planter. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could drill this into your deck if you right. wanted to not use the planter. Planter's fantastic. I'll give you a little trick. Put a little stone in the bottom. Give it some weight. bricks. Yep. Something like that. Important thing. Then put your mulch in. This is all fluted all the way down. Has all the accoutrements you'd want in a lamppost that you would have seen a hundred years ago. It's just beautiful. Today's the first day that we've had this on six easy pay payments. And again, now is the time to do it. And I'll tell you why. It's time to start stretching our outdoor hours. Sure. And to do that, we need light, okay? Again, I barbecue all year round. I know we've got snow. I have every intention. Right. Big fat steak on the grill tonight. <laughs> and the only way that I could do that. Is that seven o'clock? Is that? Yeah, about one? seven. Okay, seven o'clock, I'll be there. You know where I live. I do. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, this is the only way to be able to do that in, in this area of the country. Sure. And it's a sign of welcome, whether it is on your back patio, your back deck, even if it's by the end of the driveway yeah. at the street. 100%, you know, and you have had to have a barn, I do too, and I have a few barns on, on my property, and they're old, they're hundreds of years old. A couple don't have electricity. Right. Out in front of that, I'm just thinking of it right now, I should have one out on the corner. It's just a nice look at night, and even if you have just a little shed in your backyard, maybe you have a pool, put one down by the diving board or something, it just will look fantastic. It, I've never seen solar that looks like this. Yeah. But you know what, that's the deal. I always say solar, I've been around solar for about 20 years now, from back when we used to say it looked like a firefly. I remember. Literally, that's about the light you got out of it. It was an amber-colored light on a black plastic <laughs> You can fixture. see the light being thrown against the house back there. So what we have now is something that not only doesn't look like solar, because it looks like a hardwired fixture, and that's why I say solar has grown up. And by the way, can I throw something yeah, in? I don't mean to interrupt, do. pardon me, that was rude. Uh, the actual fixture itself. Yeah. It is exactly yeah, what would be used if this were a hardwired, expensive fixture to put at your home. Great point. And we're, we're at 129 bucks and change. Yeah. And then on the base again, the planters there, it's just something, you know, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, I put a little stone, maybe some rock in the bottom, plant some of your Robertas or cottage yep. farms. And it's just a, a unit you can just put anywhere around your house. And by the way, everything becomes a park. If like you're that. having a party, let's say you have a fire pit. You uh -huh. say, you know what, I'm gonna take this down by the fire pit. That's good. You would be able to pick it up and take it where you want. Dan and I were talking earlier, most solar lights are about 10 inches off the ground, and they do a great job. When you get six feet off the ground, you do even a better job. You throw that light out yep. in a big swath. And we, we should give measurements, because I know on TV I look extensionally <laughs> tall. Which is You're just not guy, true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm five nine. You're over six, right? Yeah, I'm uh, just about six four. Yeah. I just got measured. I had, I had a physical, and I grew a quarter of an inch, which I found very strange. But it's Wait, true. What? I've well, always been six three and three quarters. They measure me twice. They go, "You're six four." I go, still in the cavity prone years. I, it, yes. I don't know what. It's one of those Benjamin Button things. <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. I don't but. doubt it. But we are we are right at six feet. Yeah. So, and, and that's a substantial fixture. It's extraordinarily well crafted. I know the people at Paradise, uh, they are true innovators and leaders. To be able to bring you this type of an LED bulb, by the way, LED bulbs do not burn out. They, they it, literally it, it last. It takes years and yeah, years. Yeah, you know, you will have bought a new fixture when these things, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say how long, but literally there would be like 50 to 100,000 hours. hours. It, yep. It's crazy. They're not a traditional bulb that you would change every 1,000 hours or so when they burn out. Thank Dan, you, my friend. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Are you ready for spring? You know, I'm so ready for that steak tonight. I'll be over okay. seven. Can and I you know bring what, anything? No? Okay. You, you think I'm kidding. You, again, I've known Jeff for years. You know where the farm is. Come on I by. do, Dad. Thank you. Uh, we've got a lot coming up. We still have our Today's Special Value with Philip Watson. We'll do that right at 8 a.m. Uh, one of the single most popular.